okay so what is up guys hope you guys are doing fine hope you guys are doing well so in this video i'm going to make a quick hack on how to do the ken burns effect now if you don't know what is a ken burns effect ken burns effect is basically a fake zoom in effect or a zoom out effect now what most people used to do when it comes to this effect is that they used to set a keyframe to the scale and then go few frames later set a keyframe to the scale again and then done that is how they do it but there is a way smoother way way easier way and a way faster way to do this which i don't know why a lot of people don't really know yet and that is available in final cut pro it's. so just you know go to your timeline select the clips cut exactly where you want the zoom in and zoom out to end Select that clip, right click, click on crop, and then after that, there is a cane bones effect option. Click on the cane bones effect, and then you want to get the out position and the in position. So when it comes to cane bones effect, I don't like to do it very big zoom or very vast zoom. Just try to keep it subtle and, you know, keep the zoom as minimum as possible. And then, you know, play with the rectangle boxes so that you guys can play with the position and the scale of the cane bones. After that, just click on done and it is pretty much done. No need to go for keyframes, no need to go for all those hassles. Trust me, because when it comes to keyframes, we all really feel a lot irritated, right? And this is one of those smoother ways by which you can actually save a ton of time. Say for example, you guys quickly want to do a Ken Burns effect without actually readjusting any position, just a simple zoom in. So cut the clips, right click, click on crop, click on Ken Burns and leave it as it is. It is going to by default set a kind of a zoom in effect, which most people already like. You guys don't really have to adjust anything, but yes, of course, if you guys want to change the position and stuff, you guys can change those. This is one of the effects which I regularly use and I'm sure you guys will love it too. So with that being said, if you guys want more such tutorials, more such tips and tricks on videography, editing and all, then do make sure to subscribe to this channel because we have to play with that YouTube algorithm. With that being said, this is Pixel Sam. We'll be back with a new video soon. Peace out.